Thomas over here from the Madrid office. Uh, it's seven o'clock in the morning, just about to start the day with a cheeky run. Um, take around and see what day in life of someone in Madrid's like. Um, coming from Australia, lived in Australia my whole life. I uh, wanted to experience, I guess, something a little bit culturally different. Um, and I figured, yeah, Spain's pretty different to Australia and it has been, which has been great. Um, but still keep some things like home, bit of Vegemite on toast for brekkie um, to get the day rolling. Hola, Chema. So today, a bit of a walking meeting because the coffee machine we can't get to today with Laura. Uh, doing a bit of a language exchange, so I get, I get to teach English really good. Australian English. <laughs> so lunch plans got hijacked uh, thanks to commissioning on site. Gotta love it. Uh, looking on the bright side at least. I uh, get to walk outside for a little bit today. Go for a bit of a walk, pick up some food to eat. Hoof that down and crack on with the rest of the day. Alright, so it's the afternoon, so I've got Polo with me here right now. Um, we've just got an important business meeting with, I'd say, the the most valued member of the Arab Madrid team. <laughs> Coffee machine. <laughs> I guess in terms of the day-to-day -day activities, um, what working's been like since moving to Madrid, uh, pretty, pretty much the same as before. It turns out engineering is engineering, really, no matter where you go. Um, differences with codes and stuff like that you get used to over time. Uh, but I think for me personally, the nice thing has been working on a data center project, um, English speaking client, for someone who doesn't quite know Spanish yet, it's quite nice. Uh, you do have some conversations in English, some in Spanish, but it's nice to have something that you're a bit familiar with. Um, I guess some of the challenges of, I guess the whole LTA thing is yes, it's a new place, um, really pushing yourself probably as far outside your comfort zone as you can get to, which at times is pretty daunting and interesting um, but I think yeah the, the advantages too will, will come out in the end um, it'll be a cool experience to look back on and say yep I did that I learned a language I conquered another country be pretty cool at the end of it um, I guess what I like about Madrid at the moment cool thing is a lot of people aren't actually from Madrid um, plenty of Spanish but it's a lot of people from different parts of the country or South America um, still have a quite a similar culture uh, but the way that they welcome you the, they, they know exactly what you're kind of going through. They've all, most of them have done the same thing. They've, they've moved to a different place, and, and yeah, it's, it's definitely helped a lot with integrating into the teams. All right, so the day's over. Got Encarni with me. Uh, we're going. Someone's leaving drinks, which, as far as I'm concerned, is some practice for some more Spanish. They all speak Spanish when they go out, which is good for me. Uh, but yeah, Spain's pretty cool. Um, come along. Verified, she's actually from Madrid as well, rare sort, um, and yeah, give it a crack, have some fun, and might catch you here. Hey, Root. <laughs>